All right, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hill Blaze, at thehillblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLOW1BOXING. Get you 18% off the 100% all-natural products. Website, promo code description. Thanks. All right, what's going on? We back, Goodfellow Sports TV. Got some uh, kind of breaking news coming in. Kyle Kuzma joins the Puma uh, family. Um, if you didn't know, Puma is uh, making a comeback in the uh, you know, basketball footwear area. And um, Kyle Kuzma joins an impressive lineup. Let's talk about his deal. Let's talk a little bit about Puma and what they need to do to be successful. We back, Goodfellow Sports TV. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. Check out our NBA playlist. We got NBA 101 and regular NBA talk. NBA 101 is our live stream. NBA coming up in a few weeks. Very, very excited. Um, I'll be doing some live streams and a ton of NBA videos. Uh, if you're from Detroit or you like Detroit sports, check out my other channel, Motor City Sports Talk. But, yeah, Kyle Kuzma signs a five-year deal with Puma. Roughly estimated at around $3 million a year, and he will earn more with Puma uh, than he will get from the Los Angeles Lakers throughout his rookie contract. And the NBA has slotted uh, rookie contracts. You'll know exactly what they're going to get. I think that happened because maybe uh, Chris Webber or somebody else was uh, outpricing themselves and just the numbers got uh, outrageous. Just like in the NFL, difference was the NBA actually took the money that they took from the rookies and actually put it back into the veterans in NFL owners took the money from the rookies and put it back in their pocket and not back into the player's pocket, which was an epic fail by the NFL PA. But that's another story for another day. But um, Kuzma, he making less than Marvin Bagley uh, makes, but he's a Puma athlete. DeMarcus Cousins, DeAndre Ayton, just to name a few. And um, Jay-Z is, I think, uh, has a, you know, um, he has some business to do with Puma and trying to, you know, make it urban um, friendly. And, you know, that shoe right there, that don't appear to me. And this is what Kyle Kuzma wore after signing that endorsement, they say. That don't look like a shoe that I would wear. I'm a little bit out of touch on what the kids is wearing today. I don't get the fanny pack, the purses, and the skinny jeans. So I might be the wrong person to ask. But to me, that don't look like a hooping shoe at all. That look like, you know, that like a house shoe. But, um, you know, Zion Sean with Jordan Brand and, and LeBron got his shoes and Kyrie got his shoes with Nike and Kuzma was considered a Nike athlete before this deal. But for Zion and Kuzma, Puma and Jordan Brand to be successful, they have to have good designs. That's the bottom line. They have to have good designs. If they're not going to design good shoes, see, Jordan really don't have a lot of good shoes out, or he don't have any great shoes in my opinion, outside his retros, you know, and that guy that designed those retro Jordans, he need to uh, rehire him. And I like the Durants. I like the uh, uh, Kyrie's. I'm not a fan of the LeBron's. Um, but really, none of them shoes are really fashion statement. Some of the Durant's is, but they more basketball shoe. Then Jordan was a hooping shoe, but it's, it's, it's still 10, 20 years later. It's still fat. It's still, it's still a, uh, you know, staple of urban fashion in the hip hop community. You know what I'm saying? And Puma gonna have to find a way to have better de designs. And on top of that, you gotta be a performance basketball shoe. You don't want people busting through their shoes like Big Paul the Brand or like Zion with the Kyrie's and Duke. You know what I'm saying? And you can you can get Jordan to wear the Pumas and say, well, Jordan gonna be the face of the Puma. You can get LeBron to be the face of the Puma. But if your shoes not hot, dude's not gonna rock with it. You can set them to the uh, to the highest price. And people love buying shoes because of the price. The, 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 today, they love doing that. But if they not hot and they don't appeal to the, to the youth and they don't appeal to the hip-hop community, it's not going to do good. You know, so it's all about design. You know, Zion can be the most successful dude out there and his shoes don't excel to a certain extent. But they're not going to be considered classic. They're not going to be wore in the club. They're not going to be wore in every uh, AAU game or every high school game if they don't have, a, uh, if they're not designed right. You know, in Puma right now, some of the basketball shoes I've seen they got, it's a no-go. i never put those on. And a three-quarter cut, kind of like that right there, you shouldn't be hooping in them anyway. If you're going to hoop in like the three, three-fourths or the three, whatever they call the quarter cuts, you better have an ankle brace on. You know what I'm saying? Just advice to the hoopers. Always get them high tops. You know what I'm saying? Or them mids to support that ankle. Even if with, ankle, ankle, with an ankle brace on, you want to get that mid top. Support that ankle if you're a real hooper. 
But uh, let me know what you think. I'll link the article in the description. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to email if you have business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, or video requests. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at TheHelpBlaze.com. Promo code GoodFellow1Box. Get your 18% off the 100% all-natural products. Check them out. Website, promo code in the description. One time for the one time we go.